Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a review of a brand new product from Notebook Therapy. They recently released their own set of bullet journal stencils and they kindly sent me them to try and to review for you guys. We are also hosting a giveaway that includes one set of stencils and a bullet journal from their shop, so stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you can win the giveaway. The stencils come in this very slim, eco-friendly box. Their boxes are really great and I normally use them to store other stationaries because they are of really good quality. The stencils come wrapped in this adorable recyclable tissue paper that has the same designs as the box. Each set comes with six different stencils, all of them with different shapes, a different fun edge and a ruler. One of them has a grid that I will show in a notebook later on. They are made of crystal acrylic so they are very durable and are available in this lilac tarot color and in green mint matcha. Just so you have an idea of their size, they are 17 centimeters by 10 centimeters, and they almost don't fit on an original size notebook from Notebook Therapy, which means that they fit on the page but they are bigger than the grid itself. They fit great on an A5 size notebook and the set costs $30.98, and I will share my honest opinion on them in the end. I asked you on Instagram if you had any questions about the stencils and a lot of you requested for me to swatch them with different markers, so that's what I will do for the swatch portion of this video. For each stencil I tried two different pens. Some pens work great on stencils, whereas others not so much, but since I haven't used stencils in my bullet journal yet, I will try them with the pens that I normally use for my spreads. Overall, fine liners and ballpoint pens are the mediums that work the best because you have more control of the pen on the stencils, but I found that on the more complex shapes, it was hard to trace the design onto the paper because it was tricky to move the pen around the design. You will see what I mean once I show you the overview of the designs on the paper in the end, so I recommend you draw the designs with the pencil first, just to have the shape there, and then go over with a marker or a fine liner for a cleaner shape. By the way, have you ever tried to use stencils? I used stencils when I was a kid because my mom is an architect and at the beginning of the 2000s there was no software to draw buildings and the inside of houses on the computer, so my mom used stencils to draw everything on paper and I used them to do some drawings as well and I haven't used stencils since then. It's so crazy that Notebook Therapy came out with something that I used to play with when I was a kid. Markers like the Tomo Dual brush pens or the Ohuhu markers work well with the stencils, but I would still do the shapes with a pencil first just to be safe. Also, if you plan to fill in the shape of the stencil instead of just doing the outline, I recommend coloring the shape with the stencil on the notebook. If you just want the outline, maybe do it with pencil first. I also want to point out that I didn't practice using the stamps before doing this review, so maybe the mistakes that I did are because of that, but regardless I wanted to share my experience using them for the first time. Some markers that I recommend using the stencils with are the Tombow markers, Zebra mild liners but only with the fine tip, Arteza markers and the Crayola super tips. I don't recommend highlighters or markers that have a soft tip or a brush tip like the Arteza brush pens, those don't really work on stencils. 
Surprisingly, you can use the Tombow Dual Brush Pens with the stencils. They are not perfect on the stencils, but they work pretty well. Here's how the designs look on paper on the first try with different mediums. I still recommend you to do everything with pencil and then go over it with a pen, but that is totally up to you. And I also think that the more complex designs like the moon, stars and flowers look better if you color them in. Overall, I really like the designs on the stencils, they are great for bullet journaling and you have endless possibilities of things to create with them, so they are truly a great purchase. $30 for a set of stencils may sound expensive, but stencils are something that you buy once and you are probably not gonna buy again in your lifetime, and if you think you are really going to use them, I think they are worth it. And of course, you can save 10% off with my code CATSPLANNER on Notebook Therapy's entire website, which is also nice. Another thing that I had to try was if I could use the stencils to trace out designs on washi tape. I tried it with two different shapes and with two different sizes of washi tape, and you totally can. I used a not so sharp exacto knife and please be careful when using blades by yourself and I was able to trace the shapes on the washi tapes which is pretty cool. My cuts on the washi tape weren't clean because my blade was not sharp enough for that but it works, you can almost create stickers with the stencils and some washi tape which is pretty cool. Notebook Therapy and I also decided to have a giveaway for you guys. Over on my Instagram, we are giving away one set of stencils and one bullet journal from Notebook Therapy, so you can get your stencils and use them on your brand new bullet journal. All you have to do is follow the rules on the post on my Instagram. My honest opinion about them is that if you see yourself using the stencils, they are worth it, but you can still practice bullet journal and doodle without them. They are really good because of the number of shapes and designs that they have, and one thing that caught my eye is that they have simple designs that I would never think of drawing and are so easy to do with the stencils. To conclude, they are worth it, good quality and fun to use, but they are not essential. Thank you so much for watching this video, don't forget to join the giveaway. Thank you Notebook Therapy for collaborating with me once again and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!